Hi there, um, we've got hold of a measuring tool for the CTrader platform created by Spotware. So this video is just a quick um, test really just to show you it working. So I'm going to show you how to get hold of the indicator from our website. You just come to our website and you can type in at the top measuring or measure. And it should come up on here, you can easily find it. Um, you can also scroll down and get it here. Um, okay, so what I'm going to do is go straight into CTrader, then I'll come back to this page afterwards and just explain how to download it and use it and stuff like that. So I'll go straight into CTrader now. So this is the kind of CTrader window you're going to see when you first start using CTrader. So to install, so sorry, to actually install the indicator onto your chart, you first need to download it, unzip it, double click on the file and it will install automatically. Once it's installed, you click on the chart, tap on the space bar and to type in the words measure and it will come up with measure tool there. Okay. Now you've got a lot of settings that come up on here. I'm going to go through these settings using the automate tab because it's a lot easier for me to show you the settings and explain the indicator at the same time. But when you're using this indicator, you'll probably use it from this trade window because you'll be manual trading. So I'm just going to click OK. OK, the first thing you'll see on the chart there is a little measure um, text that comes up in the top left hand corner. This is configurable, which I'll also show you in a minute. But I'm going to show you now how to drew, draw the two upper and lower sort of zones for measuring um, data on a chart. So I just click on the tool and it highlights in red. I click on any point on the chart and I scroll down with the mouse and you can see it's drawing a red rectangle. Now I cover the area that I want to use and I click the button again. So you click the button to start, you drag it, you click the button again and it'll stop. Now all these colors are configurable. You can then grab the rectangle and move it exactly where you want to put it. So I'm just going to put it here for now. Okay. Now I'm going to tell you what information this gives you. Again, like I said, I'll go through the settings um, in a minute, but I'll just go through what this information gives you. This tells you that there was 21 candles between the start of this zone here and the end. It tells me the amount of time that this zone contains, which is in this case 21 hours, um, sorry, 21 days, 11 hours and 15 minutes. Okay, so it also tells me the price delta and I'll go through that in a minute on the uh, page. And it also tells me the volume. And that's if you wanted to do one for an upper zone, I click on the measure tool again. I click on there and I lift it up. Okay, and it draws one to the upper zone. It gives me the same information, how many bars, the time that was involved. In this case, it was one day. Um, I don't know if that's one day actually. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, it probably is one day. And 56 minutes. The price delta and the volume. Now I'll go through price delta and volume and explain exactly what they are in a minute. The bars and the time is, is much easier. Um, and what I'm going to do now is actually go to the um, automate window so I can explain it in more detail. Okay, so if I click on the automate tab, now I've already put the indicator on here and I've I filtered it up here by typing in uh, measure, comes up with the measuring tool. You can add instances. This is for when you run automated robots, but I'm just going to show you um, this tool in action here. Now, as you can see, you've got all the settings for the indicator a lot easier to see. Now, I will quickly tell you now that I didn't say before what price delta and volume is. And for that, I'm going to go to the product page and scroll down. So the price delta is the price difference in the measured area. It's in absolute and relative terms. Um, again, if you see the time as 1.08 hash uh, colon 40, that means one day, eight hours and 40 minutes. Okay, it's pretty straightforward. And the volume value is the tick volume for the elapsed period. So it's the tick volume in the whole of that zone from the start candle to the end candle. I go back to here. Now what I'm going to do now is um, go through the settings. So I've just drawn this one previously onto the chart. This is the down one. Again, if I want to draw the up one, you can see that the colors there is kind of black. Now the standard C Trader template um, comes a much darker. That's why you couldn't see the black border. But if you wanted to adjust the actual blackness there, um, you can actually do that. I'll start from the top. So orientation, you can change where you want to do it, horizontal or uh, vertical. Um, I'm just going to get rid of this. So if you want to get rid of the, the object, you just click on the link there. You can either right click your mouse and click delete, or you can just click on it and click delete on the space bar. And that will actually delete the object from the chart. So um, you can reposition this object anywhere you want on this on the chart. You can go right. It's gone to the right hand side, top or bottom, and you can stretch it as well. OK, so I'm going to get rid of the stretch. I'm going to do it at the top left. And then you've got the margin so you can decide how much you want it from the from the left hand side. OK, so that's that's pretty straightforward for you to look at there. So that's the container panel there. That's this that where you want to put it on the chart chart. Now the buttons, um, this button up here, you can choose the disabled color. Now the disabled color is when it's not being used. So I can choose a color like blue. OK, so when it's blue, it's not being used. 
Um, you can also choose the enable color. I'm going to leave that as red. And you can also choose the text color. So depending on the theme you're using with Ctrader, you can actually adjust it to how you want it. Now, if you start obviously using this tool and you can hardly see the text because it's in uh, a really dark color, you can then just change the color there to a color that you can see. So depending on the theme you're using, you can change this little button where it goes on the chart and how it looks. Okay. And again, you've got the margin for the button there. Okay, time frame visibility. I was trying to work this one out. I'm pretty sure that if you select yes and um, you, you've got a one hour chart, that button will only show up on a one hour chart because we're on a 30 minute chart. It won't show you. So if I go to a one hour chart now, the button should disappear, uh, appear again. So it's there. So this actually shows you on the one hour chart if you want to show or hide the button. I'm going to turn that off. Now the measuring tool. Now the up and down, upper and lower kind of zones, you can choose the color you want for that. So if I click on the measure tool, now it's gone red. If I click the mouse and go down, that's the lower zone. Now for the, it's called down color here, it's called red. You can, you can choose whatever color you want for this. I can choose purple. Now if you change it, as you see, it's come up on the chart there. I think if you do it on the other one, you have to delete the object and put it back in. Um, so you can change the color of this to anything you want. I've got it as purple. You can also change the transparency. If I choose 255, it's fully, um, it's fully a block. The transparency, there is none, okay? If I choose something like um, 100, uh, sorry, 1, you can see there's no transparency. So it's defaulting at something like 50. So depending on how much transparency you want, how much of this color you want for your eyes, um, you can adjust that. That's pretty straightforward. You can also choose the thickness of the actual line. And I'll show you that what I mean by that now. So you can see there's a borderline thickness in there. You can just about see it. So you can actually choose the style if it's solid, dots. This is for the line on the outside. So I'll go through that in a minute. I'm going to turn off the field, select no. OK, now I think to have, have that to take effect, I've then got to draw the object again. OK, so there's the object. You can only just make it out if I call that um, lime green. If I turn it lime color, see lime color is a lot nicer on this sort of background. So on a lime color, um, I've turned off the filled color. If I click yes, it won't show until I actually delete the object or drew in, draw a new object. And there's the actual color then. So again, you can choose solid and all the other things for this object here. The thickness of it, you can choose here. That's the thickness of this border. Um, the text color. So this text color at the bottom, I can choose anything I want. If I choose red, um, and then I'd have to actually delete the object again if you want to see it. So I delete that one. And that one, you can't click in the middle because it's not filled. You have to click actually on the object. And that's gone. And if I click on the measure tool, and you can see the text is now red. I'm going to turn that back to white. And then I've got to delete the object again. Click on the measure tool, click, drag it down for an upper zone. Okay, and, the, and it's white. You can also choose the font size. So if you want your, a larger font size, you can choose 15. Again, like I said, you've got to redraw it. And you've got much bigger font size. So a lot of you might want that. You might want a lot larger sort of text shown on the chart. And again, you can decide whether it's bold or not bold. I'm going to turn that off and I'll have to do this all again, sorry. And actually just show you the object. And again, if I want the lower one, I drag from the top. Oh, they're both green. That's why one's lime, one's green. That's causing some confusion. I'm going to do the down color as red. And I'm going to redraw that. Click, drag down, and you've got the red. Okay, so that's about it. That's explaining all the parameters for you. So this is the object. It's a very useful tool for um, analyzing the data on the chart. Um, it's a very similar tool that's used on TradingView. It was missing on um, Ctrader. So you can download it from our website. You can download it from the Spotware website. And, and I hope you like the video. So please give me a thumbs up if you thought the video was good because it really helps our rankings. Thank you very much.